Welcome to Medifacts This Week in Neurosurgery. We're going to talk about surgery for carpal tunnel syndrome. This procedure is one that we get the most gratifying results and the most compliments from our patients. Some patients who have had difficulty sleeping for years are extremely pleased with the outcome and they wonder why they did not do something about it all these years. Patients with carpal tunnel syndrome usually present with painful numbness of the hands. Some patients drop things and some show wasting of the muscles in the hand. These symptoms arise from a pinched nerve at the wrist. The nerve that goes to these three fingers usually passes through a tunnel at the wrist. Sometimes the tunnel is too small or the nerve is too big for the size of the tunnel. Either way, the nerve gets pinched and cause the symptoms that I described earlier. The surgery involves releasing the nerve where it is pinched at the wrist and inside the palm. At the Regina General Hospital, we perform the procedure under local freezing. We make a small incision at the wrist and the incision measures about half an inch. Prior to making the incision, we strip the arm of most of the blood and then we place a tourniquet above the patient's elbow. Then we clean the hand and the arm with sterile material. This is followed by local freezing at the wrist. The half inch incision is then made in front of the wrist. This instrument is used to free the nerve deep into the palm and for about two inches above the wrist. The incision is then closed with a single layer of sutures that are buried under the skin. A pressure bandage is applied. Patients should note that the palm is going to be tender for several weeks until the incision heals. Pain control can be taken care of using mild painkillers such as Tylenol or Advil. People usually take off from one week to four weeks from their usual work. Driving might be painful and difficult so it should be avoided and someone should bring the patient to the hospital on the day of the surgery. Remember that your palm is going to be tender for several weeks until it heals. For the most part, the incision is barely visible a few weeks after it was made. The risks are few and far between, and they include wound infection. But your surgeon will discuss this in detail with you and what the risks are. For more information, feel free to talk to your neurosurgeon. Have a great day.